In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the dimensions of PowerPoint slides. So here I have a PowerPoint presentation on animation in the classroom, and there's lots of graphics involved in this. And honestly, it's going to be kind of hard to fit everything on the screen exactly the way I would want it to be. Now, of course, some of that depends on the purpose of the slideshow and also what device it will be experienced on. So is this a presentation that's going to be shown to a classroom or to an audience of some kind? Or is it just going to be on a TV in kiosk mode where it just plays over and over and loops the slides? Is the audience going to experience this slideshow on mobile devices, on cell phones or tablets? Or will it be using a projector or on a TV? What are the dimensions of the TV? Is it widescreen? Is it an old TV that doesn't have the HD widescreen format? So those are two questions to consider. What is the purpose of the show and what device will it be experienced on? Well, once you've thought about those things, you might want to go in and change the dimensions of your slides. So here on slide number one, there are a couple of ways I could do this, but probably the easiest way is just to look for the design tab design ribbon over on the right side there's a customize group and there it says slide size if you click there you can easily pick standard layout notice that it says i am now trying to scale to a new slide size would you like to maximize the size of your content or scale it down to ensure it will fit so if i choose maximize it'll make it nice and big but it will cut off parts of the images in some cases and perhaps text as well if you ensure fit, everything is going to fit on the screen, but it might be kind of small. So that's what I picked. And look, now it's set up for the old fashioned, you know, standard layout. Now, with some projectors, this is going to be what you want. There are projectors that only have the standard screen size. You can also switch back, in this case, to the widescreen view that is becoming more and more common. Now, notice when I did that, it left my images small and my text small. It's of course because I switched to standard and then I chose to shrink everything down. And now when I went back to widescreen, it didn't need to shrink or maximize the images and text. It just left them as is because they already fit. So that is something to watch out for. If you switch back and forth, there are some consequences. But there's another option there at the bottom of the list, custom slide size. So in some cases, you might be creating a slideshow for a really odd device, you know, maybe a tablet that's not standard anymore. Or I've also seen presentations created for TVs that have been turned on their side so that they're much more vertical than they are horizontal. So in those kinds of cases, you really will want to go here to slide size, custom slide size. And you can click here, slide sized for, and they've got letter paper size, ledger paper size, all of these different paper dimensions, an overhead, a banner. That's kind of an interesting option. Let's look at that. I'll just choose ensure fit. So there's banner. I'm gonna undo that. And that undo button really might be your best friend when you make a mistake when choosing slide sizes. That's probably the best way to recover what you had before. We also have on screen show 16 to 9 dimensions, 16 to 10 dimensions, just a whole bunch of great options that you have there. Now it's also possible to just pick custom dimensions. So I could go in and say, I want a screen that is 15 inches wide and 55 inches high. Next, I need to pick the number of slides from slide one that I want this applied to. So let's just try it for the first three and see what happens. I'm just going to leave the rest of these options the way they are. I'll click OK. It wants to know again, do I want to maximize the content so it's easier to see it, but I might cut off parts of it, or do I want to ensure that everything fits? For me, the content fitting is pretty important, so I pick that. So you can see what it did to my slides. They're now very vertical. That's what I wanted, and it worked. Looks terrible in my opinion, but at least I have that ability to control the dimensions of my slideshow. I'm gonna switch it down. 55 is way too tall, so I'll change that. That's a little bit better. And of course, at this point, I can just edit the slideshow just like I could with the regular dimensions that typically come in PowerPoint. And now I can resize the content if I would like to. 
Now what if there's this TV that, like I said, is an HD TV, but it's been tipped onto its side, so it's more vertical than it is horizontal, and I'm supposed to produce presentation content for that monitor or that TV on a regular basis. If that's the case, I might want to consider saving these dimensions as a theme in PowerPoint. That way I don't have to keep going into the design tab and changing the slide size every time I produce a new presentation for this monitor or TV. So to do that, all I have to do, once I've set up the right dimensions, all I have to do is go into the design tab in the themes group and I can just click this arrow here. That gives me more theme options, right? These are themes, but if I click there, one of the options is save current theme. So I'll save this and it takes me to the default location for themes in PowerPoint. If I expand this a little bit, you can see that better. And I'll just rename this. I'll call it Vertical Monitor Theme. And I'll just click Save. So that's how you can change the slide sizes in PowerPoint. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do subscribe, click the bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll be notified whenever I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, consider supporting me through my Patreon account, and there's a link to that in the description below.